Howdy, everybody. Good morning. Um, we're about one mile from the Joshua Tree National Park south entrance. And uh, we're going to camp here on BLM land for the day and the evening. Actually, we're going to try something different. Um, going to leave the RV and everything here. And we're going to take Angela's Dodge Class B van into the park. We could take the bike, but actually today in February in California, 90. We are expecting to hit 90 degrees in February. To put that into perspective, where I'm from, Olympia, Washington, the average highs in July and August in the summer are 76 and 77 respectively. 90 today in February here. So, um, gonna do my normal thing with all the fans and the windows and the alarm and the security and everything. I've got the dash set on high cool on AC with my remote start, checking the thermometer. Again, if you haven't seen how I do that, I'll put a card up top if you're watching on your laptop. I can remote start and have air conditioning on demand for jacks if needed. It is a little windy, so I doubt I'll need, I'll need to do that, but I will be keeping a close eye on him. But I'm gonna grab all my camera equipment and we're gonna go into Joshua Tree and see it for the first time ever. I'm really excited. Should be a good day. Well, I'm gonna try and get as much use out of this America the Beautiful Pass as possible. So, and there are a lot of national parks here in California. So, Joshua Tree, here we come. Well, we're gonna drive and find the visitor center first and get a map and find out what there is to see out here today. Nice blue skies though. You guys know you can rent truck campers? Did not know that. Well, our first stop here is uh, Cottonwood Spring, and there might be a little trail down here. Get a load of these massive palm trees. I love it. I love it, love it. Love me some palm trees. <laughs> it's like a jungle. Palm trees. Wow. <laughs> they don't want you going off the trail, though. Just kidding. Look at that. There's some thick trees. It says Lost Palms Oasis Trail Carry Water 3.4 miles. Hmm. Don't know if we'll make it quite that far. <laughs> uh, when do you guys think this squiggly line was for? Hmm. Hello, hello, hello. Any creatures in there? Jumping cactus, don't touch it. <laughs> I know all about this stuff. Jumping cactus is no joke. This sign says escalator out of service, please use stairs. Okay. So happy I could hug a tree. Maybe not. All right, well now we just got about 38 miles of driving through the park on a road until we get to the next uh, exhibit. <laughs> it's a massive park. They make you drive a lot. Uh, but we'll pull off the next turn and I'm still looking for the elusive Joshua tree. Well, we found a field of interesting looking trees here. Not sure if you call these Joshua trees or not, but this is called the Chola Gardens, I guess. Just, we're not really sure how you pronounce that, but they've got these little yellow blooms on them that look like blackberries, but yellow. And I mean, it just goes and goes and goes. It's massive. Look at the field. Let's play a game. Let's, let's race through this field patch. See who makes it out. <laughs> no, they go pass. Yeah, they go pass on that. That's crazy, right? Just remember guys, like gremlins, do not feed these things after midnight. And this is what happens apparently. Mm-hmm. 
careful. I'll tell you what, despite the amount of driving you have to do uh, around the park to get to everything, this park really does have a lot, a lot of neat things to see. Like ginormous rocks. <laughs> and we're up here at now 5,400 feet little windy and it is not even close to 90 degrees up here so good time of year to come I guess wow <laughs> eventually there will actually be Joshua trees at Joshua Tree National Park right uh, now, now eventually you do plan to have dinosaurs on your on your dinosaur tour right actually that wind feels good now, one thing I learned about Joshua Tree that I'll share with you is the Joshua Tree itself is very elusive and it's not found very much in this park, but figured I could not leave here without finding and sharing one with you. This is a real one here. That's what they really look like. I would say this one is about 18, 25 feet tall. Different. It's very different. It's cool looking though. I don't know if you can see the flower bud type things at the end there. Hmm. It's got rough bark and then it's also got this. Hmm. Pretty cool. All right guys, the Joshua tree. Hey buddy, doing all right, huh? Yeah. Didn't even hit 75 in here while I was gone. Good boy. And so unfortunately they didn't have any 3D magnets that I collect from all my state parks. The arches, Mount Rushmore. Now I wasn't too pleased with what they had, but I did get one to add to my collection there. So, hey, something's better than nothing. Filling up now. On these, uh, I was gonna say hot summer days. On these hot summer February days, uh, one thing I will do from time to time is I won't even turn the hot water heater on in the RV. There's really no sense because the tank inside is, is going to be naturally like 60, 70 degrees, just at, at least normal room temperature in there. And so, and it feels cold. So I'll take a cold shower, even though it's really not that cold. And then I don't do it too often, but if it's warm or if it's, maybe I do it once every three months or so, but I give Jax a bath too. So I've got special, cat shampoo he has been rolling around and enjoying the sand and dirt so much plus it gives him all afternoon in a warm climate to, to air dry so that he won't be cold tonight and so we're gonna tackle giving jacks a nice bath oh boy oh isn't that good oh that's so good huh scrubby dub dub how much do you love me Jax? Yeah, let's get that belly. Oh, let's get that belly. Yeah, let's get the belly. Good boy. Wait a minute. Ah! Ah! We're not quite done. We're not quite done. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. No, wait. need to dry off on my spot you know come here there you go dry off on your spot okay go ahead and lick your wounds okay you look so funny <laughs> not talking to you dad not talking to you for the rest of the day dad i know there's a million places to dry off dad but i'm gonna do it on your seat instead so take that you look so funny buddy <laughs> you'll thank me later okay okay Yep, warm, warm day out here today. Now he didn't bite me or scratch me at all. He just wiped some of his wet on me, which is fine. Feels good. I'll uh, go ahead and take my nice shower. Maybe we'll have a little fire out here. Hang out. This is the perfect spot if you want to 
camp. Well, basically we're in Joshua Tree National Forest and we're in the, the green area, the BLM. We're just on this side of where you pay, right? If you don't have in America the beautiful pass, it's $25 per car to get in. And uh, yeah, I will also put some GPS coordinates below for this parking spot here, this whole area where there's free camping, which is totally awesome, right? So, um, there's a few things that I miss. There's a few things that, well, if you only travel 30 miles a day, you can't change it up much. It's just one desert after the other desert. Um, might change things up tomorrow or the next day. We'll see. Either way, you guys will hear about it here first. So take care, guys. Jackson, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.